after that uh, i got a ppo from that company later on at the end of my third year i got a job in a company on basis of my skills in machine learning and deep learning so i'm currently working at amazon as a software development engineer Hello everyone and welcome back to Coding Ninjas. Today we have a very interesting interview for you guys and I have a very very experienced person we can say who's working in Amazon and we have Sharad with us. So he's going to tell us ki unki coding ki journey kaisi thi and now he landed up in Amazon. So hi Sharad how are you doing? Hello Kabir I'm doing good. So Sharad ek chota sa introduction de sakte ho aap apne bare mein. To all of your viewers I'll say hey guys this is Sharad Mittal. So I'm currently working at Amazon as a software development engineer where I'm working okay. with the returns team where we are responsible mm-hmm. for processing the returns of Amazon worldwide. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So Sharad now I just want to ask you the first question which branch are you from So I'm from electronics and communication background Okay and kya electronics mein jaane ka aapne pehle se socha tha in class 11th and 12th or it was just all of a sudden It was not all of a sudden it was like ki my first preference was for computer science and engineering but okay. uh, then later on I did not land it up there so okay. eventually I landed up in uh, electronics and communication Okay so since you didn't land up in computer science you landed up in some other uh, stream but ended up you know coming into the IT field at the end of the day yeah you can say okay. that okay so talking about electronics so honestly when you get into a different field it's you know really difficult to manage two things together kyunki aap electrical mein bhi ho to aapko uske bhi subjects padhne hain projects usi ke hisab se banane hain practicals usi ke hisab se karne hain you don't have much of coding i guess much of coding as compared to a computer science student right yeah, yeah that's right so talking about that how did you actually start programming when was the first time you wrote your first code okay so eventually like uh, we have a lab in our first year where we are mm-hmm. being required to learn a programming language basically i think that's okay. a very common norm in each and every college in our india Correct. so basically that was in c programming lab where mm-hmm. we were first introduced to the coding i was not sincere in that lab my aim was just to pass the lab and get a good great so <laughs> i okay. just did it in that way mm-hmm. so i can just pass the course and get a good great yeah that was it for uh, the c programming lab okay so that's how you basically yeah. started itna kuch interest nahi tha aapko bas aapko pass hona tha to aap utta hi pad lete the yeah it's like that only okay so but then since you're working in amazon you would have started some day wherein you have you know wherein you would have practiced and you would have actually grinded to come to a good placement so when was that when you actually started programming for placements when you actually started from foundation to data structures to practicing lead code or something and then finally giving out interviews that's a pretty good story about it so okay. when i was in my third year i was looking at like which field should i go in right i want to pursue a career at that particular point of time where i can land a good job Correct. so that was my aim at that point of time so at the very beginning of my third year uh, let's say uh-huh. i was just juggling around the internet and was searching like what is the hot most topic that i can look for right so uh, like uh, after searching for it i was like okay it's machine learning and deep learning that can help me landing a good job so i just started to grind around the topics of machine learning and deep learning okay. and eventually i was able to do a bit of work in that Okay. So later on at the end of my third year I got a job in a company on basis of my skills in machine learning and deep learning and okay. I got an internship there. Yeah. Okay. So I did an intern there in that particular field although the field where I worked on was completely different. I was selected mm-hmm. for machine learning and deep learning but okay. <laughs> eventually I landed up into a team which was working on blockchain. So oh, I got to really work nice. on blockchain as well. Mm-hmm. yeah so after that uh, i got a ppo from that company but uh, when i went to the company i interacted with the students who were coming from some good colleges let's say iits and nits and i just asked them like what the people are doing and uh-huh. eventually all of those people was like data structures and algorithm and more even right. more importantly problem solving so mm-hmm. that's when i got to okay this thing is something which has been very important so mm-hmm. after coming back to my college in final year let's say in my fourth year and <laughs> spending around two months of time in the happiness of uh, getting a pre-placement offer after okay. that i started to code for the first time like the proper coding involving all the dsas like let's say when was this actually when English. was this again this was basically like after two months of final year let's say our final start in august so i started to code october let's say october okay, so end basically you time. actually started programming in your final year october Even yeah in my final year october of your final year went off yeah actually i was really nice. <laughs> i was in the happiness of getting a pre placement offer okay so that's eventually how i started that's that's really nice because you know i won't say that's on time 
बट आई वुड से यार इस समय पे भी शुरू करके इफ समी इज वर्किंग इन अ मैंग कंपनी इट इज रियली एन अचीवमेंट आउट देर बिकॉज इट्स रियली टफ फॉर पीपल हु कीप ग्राइंडिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑल्सो इवन दे आर एट टाइम्स रिजेक्टेड फ्रॉम दोज कंपनीज एंड इफ यू आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग ओवर देर इतना लेट शुरू करके भी सो हैथ्स ऑफ टू यू सो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिंस आपने इतना लेट शुरू किया था वॉट वॉज योर रोड मैप एंड आपने कितने टाइम में कितना टॉपिक्स या कितना कोर्स कवर अप किया था लाइक हाउ मच डिड यू कवर अप एंड वॉट वॉज योर रोड मैप टू कवर अप डेटा सक्सेस एंड ऑल सो इवेंचुअली देर वॉज नो प्लान ऑफ getting into a like let's say x company or a y company the basic mm-hmm. plan was to get uh, a job let's say a decent job which i was also having uh, through my ppo offer okay. but uh, eventually plan was to get a good understanding of dsa so that the next time i'll be sitting in a company who is asking dsa at a good level i'll be able to at least answer few of their questions right. so that was the plan that was the initial plan so i started off in the month of let's say october end so mm-hmm. the planning was to at least get a good just around topics which are been available in dsa in a good span of 6 months so that uh, i'll not be hurrying about in all the topics right. so it took me around 6 months to get a just around all the topics which were there and uh, like get some problem solving as well let's say on lead code and some other platform so okay. that was my plan so that's how you so, actually did and, it. Yeah, yeah and yeah. eventually after 6 month covid hits and okay. we all back to our homes yeah right so that's really nice sir so i would like to ask you since you started so late it would have been a little difficult for you to get through you know interviews because obviously the people who are starting in the first and the second year they also face rejections so did you face any rejections so uh, let's talk about amazon only in that case so i applied okay. to amazon for at least around 10 to 15 times oh. and uh, each and every time i was not getting a call for the interviews right even for the online assessment so i applied through all the ways possible like i asked for my senior for referral as well and mm-hmm. applying through non referral so eventually i was not getting calls through all of the scenarios so right. that was a scene but uh, eventually one day when i was in just like uh, i think that there will be no call from amazon but eventually i got a mail from amazon side that uh, we are hiring for a lot of sd positions then mm-hmm. you can apply for the position i was like uh, might be possible i have already applied for 10 to 15 positions and they are not responding so they will not respond for this call as well mm-hmm. but uh, eventually i like applying for a position but uh, this time without referral okay. and uh, eventually that worked out and i got a referral assessment link that's really yeah. nice so i would like to ask you one question since you applied to one specific company 10 to 15 times and never got a call what was your motivation or how did you deal with that anxiety that even after not getting the call for the first 5 times you were ready for the 6th even after not getting it for the first 10 times you were ready for applying it for the 11th time so like as i mentioned like i came from a electronics and communication background and uh, starting my coding at the end of very my of my very final year so i was not very hopeful that i am going to get this thing in a single way or right. let's say in a single go so i was very much prepared that i am going to face a lot of rejections <laughs> but yeah Uh, eventually that worked out so that was my motivation that eventually it will work out on a day that day is going to be mine that's that's really nice so now i would like to ask you one question that when basically somebody asks you so obviously you're on amazon today and there would be a lot of people coming to you and asking ki what should be my road map mere ko kaise padhna chahiye taki main you know i can get into a company like amazon so what is the road map that you suggest a student कि कौन से ईयर में उसको कौन सी चीज शुरू करनी चाहिए इवन इफ इट्स फ्रॉम अ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैकग्राउंड और द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम अ सीएसई बैकग्राउंड और एनी रैंडम फील्ड आउट देयर व्हाट इज योर स्पेसिफिक यू नो रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ अ रोड मैप टू अ स्टूडेंट सो लाइक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन आई विल से इट्स बेटर टू स्टार्ट लेट्स से बाय टुमारो एज वेल व्हेन यू गॉट इनटू इंजीनियरिंग एंड आई सी अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु हैव बीन ऑलरेडी वेल वर्स्ड इन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस व्हेन दे आर इन देयर 11th एंड 12th standard so okay. there is no starting bar for a student like let's say wherever you are right now just start it today but uh, i'll also like to say to people who were not able to start in the early time let's say let's say in their second year i'll say that there is no need to lose any hope you can still buck it up so there is no issue with that but uh, for me i'll say starting from the second year would be a good because you also need to chill right. just take a chill pill in our first year and start from the second year yeah, yeah but it's never too guess, late yeah you know the burden is also very high plus you need to explore a lot you are just out from a school life and coming into a college life you really need to explore a lot of things and once a yeah. student is done doing that in the first year he can actually or she can actually come up and start programming or you know start choosing their field at least 
their niche should be decided by them yeah, just start exploring around all <clears> the <throat> fields get a better go right moving forward if i ask you to you know maybe conclude your college life how was your college life when you actually used to go to college it was more sort of a fun so okay. for me like i was not able to decide like where i want to go let's say i want to stay in electronics or i want to stay in some other field like say so i did a sincere study in my second year of electronics but later on okay. i decided that okay i don't want to study electronics anymore so i'll start to study only for passing the examinations mm-hmm. so from that part the actual fun starts going to the colleges okay and eventually after getting a ppo from a company right the life was very fun like we used to play all the day me okay. and my friends maximum of the friends so yeah that was more funny part but uh, later on covid hit so that sort of takes our final year that's really nice so one last question which i want to ask you and i really want you to help us with that because this question can be answered well by you as you started late and also you're not belonging to the computer science field i want to ask you what are the mistakes you think you made while you were in college which a electronic students or a non it student should not make so that they can get into a good it field because at the end of the day there are thousand of people who want to get into the computer science field but they don't get the branch and they end up in electronics or entc or something like that so what is your recommendation like what were your mistakes which you don't want others to repeat since i don't have any programming experience so let's say any any language experience from my mm-hmm. very 11th and 12th standard so right. i learned a very first programming language at the very later end of the year even if you are not decided like in which field you want to particularly go but i'll definitely suggest to at least start a programming language so right. that uh, you can have a little bit of just and whenever you want to start right. let's say a proper coding and uh, a serious like let's say a serious preparation you are mm. ready to go for it at any point of time so i'll suggest right. to start a programming language okay anything else which you would recommend or any other mistake which you made which you don't want others to make so one mistake which i did initially was like as a first year student right a first year or second year student there were a lot of doubts which was coming in your mind like okay what should be my first programming language so <laughs> i was also in that particular mind so right. everybody uh, so that yeah everyone so someone suggested me to let's say go with python and i mm. like went with python again and but i later find it out okay, okay it's not going to be very good because uh, python has a lot of inbuilt functionality which eventually will stop you from learning a lot of things so right. i definitely suggest to go for a like object oriented language let's say c++ or java whichever right. you want to choose okay that's that's really nice and uh, sharad the way you actually explained your journey and you know it's it's a really different journey i keep on shooting this videos but you're the first one who actually came and told me that i'm working in amazon and i started coding in the final year so it's never too late but obviously it's uh, you know better to be it's as good to start possible. early but <laughs> yeah if you can start early it's good but if you haven't it's never too late that's what i learned from your story out there and i really thank you for coming up uh, to coding ninjas and guiding us with your journey i hope we shoot another video pretty soon so thank you so much and happy coding sharad thank you